All right, what's good, Hot Squad? This is your man, Taurus Hawk, back here too. Welcome back to another Wicked Dose of Hot Banger Reacts. So, today, I got four, of course, as usual, I have four Hot Banger Reacts, recaps, I should say, and I'm ready to get through them, y'all. Ready to get through them. So, of course, you know, if you've seen before, I'm only doing the eight off the eight. HP reacts every single week because I'm still in college. So I will do up to 10 once that's done in December. So going back to recap. So we finally, finally are going to check out Blank Boy once again. Now, I know it's been a while since I did Blank Boy. I think it's been, no, it has been since last month since his Creed 3 recap. I've actually seen it. But yes, it's been a minute since I've seen a Blank Boy recap. And this is actually his newest one. So this is Transforms Dr. Moon slash Agent Stitch recap. And his entire recap is called How Optimus Prime Says Sentinel and Lockdown to the Scrapyard. So I've seen both, you know, Love Dr. Moon. Not a huge fan of Age of Extinction as well. Uh, that was really at the point Michael Bay got so far from his own butts with the Transformers movies. I mean, seriously. Seriously, man. But overall, I'm excited to see this, man. So, all score for a new. Let's jump right into it. Blake Boys, Transformers, Dark the Moon, slash Age of Extinction recap right now. Let's check it out. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. So after the sun will already slimed out my guy Iron Man, Damn. Optimus starts pressing him, telling him to come <laughs> down here and face me. Hold on, why are Ryan Pax talking spicy like this? <laughs> Wasn't you a librarian on Cybertron? <laughs> nah, Sentinel Wallen calling him by the whole government is insane. <laughs> Who are you, his mother? Sentinel then jumps off the building, sliding down the side, landing all cool like, and he's out for blood. He wants all the Autobots yep. dead right now. Yep. It's past your time, Unc. I'm not scared of a transforming overhead projector. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Optimus says it's always so cold, no matter what it is. Bro could be like Bumblebee. Where's the PB and J? And then he would be like, oh. Did you hear that? Optimus <laughs> readies his weapons and runs in, hitting Sentinel with the axe and. Oh, by the way, um, speaking of SpongeBob, his voice actor Tom Kenny is actually in Revenge of the Fallen and Dr. Moon. He voiced um, one of the twins in, in the second one, and he voiced Wheelie in both of them. And stabbing him in the chest, and then again with the axe. But come on, Hung Sentinel wasn't going to go out that easy. But he got resurrected and instantly started fighting off the wake-up. Not even a morning stretch. This warship is all he knows. <laughs> Optimus goes for another stab, but Sentinel hits him with that vet move, pushing him off and kicking him to the <laughs> ground. And Optimus doesn't even get a chance to breathe some fresh carbon monoxide. <laughs> Sentinel goes in getting blocked and hits him in the head, blocks his axe, misses the sword, but uppercuts him, misses again, and gets blocked. <laughs> and that's all it took. Sentinel getting hit once to Damn. be like, nah, forget all that running one shit. And calls in reinforcements from the sky. So they all turn around to go towards Optimus to try to send him to the Tupac meet and greet his other dead Autobot friends. Oh, it's not man. Think about it. There's no way you can convince me that Ironheart and Jazz weren't black. <laughs> Yes. That's two for two. Michael Bay gotta be racist. <laughs> just slashes up with the axe and misses. Goes for a kick and misses again, getting his head grabbed and kneed away. Which, to be honest, actually did him a favor because the fleet that Sentinel called in is on its way. And they start blasting at Optimus as he goes to grab his gun mm. and try to fight back. That nigga Sentinel got a lightning strike off one kill. I'm hmm. gonna report his ass. Gotta be hacks. Hmm. But while Optimus is camping, the Autobots start jumping. Sentinel, <laughs> Ratchet getting sliced away, B hitting the universe, and Sideswipe jumps up to get slammed back down. But they really not doing much. I mean, look at the size difference. That's what I'd be imagining when I see those. What's the most important? How many kindergartners do you think you could, you could personally take on in a fight before being overpowered? It's crazy. On the 10 year olds you could beat in a fight oh. at once questions. Optimus <laughs> tries to shoot back, but there's too many, so he dives away and gets blasted by rockets. So then while Sentinel was fighting off the Autobots, he gets blasted by a missile as well. That got him doing a whole backflip. And while he's on the ground, these YNs show that they don't play, trying to turn Unk into Swiss cheese, so he turns into his 1920s fire truck for him to dip out while Optimus chases from behind. And eventually, Prime catches up to Sentinel, stabbing him before he can even transform, missing the second one, and the next two get blocked. Sentinel's got his back against the wall, and the other Decepticons, Soundwave, Shockwave, Starscream, mm -hmm. are all new fax machines, so he's on yep. his own. As he blocks Optimus' barrage of attacks, gets knocked down, hit in the back of the head, leaves, smacks the sword, and slices. While Optimus is on the back foot for a quick second, Sentinel is able to stand back up to fight fairly now, and goes for a Superman hit, <laughs> getting blocked, blocks Optimus, and misses the spin move, and is able to knock Prime Axe out of his hands. But that's not enough. He wants Optimus to have to resort to throwing dirt or lighting <laughs> straight G League moves. Because he <laughs> destroys other weapons, stabs him in the right shoulder, oh, and straight hurts that shit off. 
And if you got Optimus, he can't believe it. Bro got his knees touching like he gotta take a piss. Yes. Optimus is on the island alone right now. So Optimus gets clocked mm. by the shield, stabbed in the other shoulder, and his face starts getting dragged across the floor. He was really doing our goat dirty. He yes. just scrubbed this shit from the internet like we did for Braun. <laughs> Optimus even starts begging and gets kicked away, and as Sentinel is about to call GG on Prime, literally right before he could finish yep. the job out of nowhere Megatron. a random homeless nigga runs up <laughs> homeless random in the back unloading three shells into sentinel's back and you could tell by what he does right here he ain't forget how sentinel bitched him in front of everyone for no reason hmm. cause he grabs him slamming his face kicks him in the head punches hmm. him grabs his head stabs him and just rips out his guts Damn. that was od Mm. Then bro had the nerve to be like, hey, Optimus, let's team up type shit. Nope. I just saved you. I don't know what bro was expecting. A congratulations, <laughs> a butt slap, him supplying you a new face? You gonna have to hit up Starlight for that, my boy. Damn. Because Optimus puts on the shysty, throwing the axe at Megatron, kicks him down, slashes his head, and then mm. stabs it. It's crazy, because Megatron offered Optimus Prime a deal, and my nigga, you could have just said nah. But instead, he decides to straight up rip this man's head off. Megatron shouldn't have acted shit. Only mm. the worst he could say is no, huh? But there's still a snake slithering. So before that pussy could sign with Golden <laughs> State, Optimus picks up, loads up, and blasts bro in the chest. But Optimus isn't making the mistake of giving <laughs> 14 tries at this bitch. Yeah. He tried to take over the world, and you failed game. Game over. Now hold this other shell so I can make sure you really dead for real. <laughs> but while we're on the topic of Decepticons being put on a poster, I forget how bro right here was 20 dating Kate's 17-year-old daughter. Yep. I remember when Kate pressed him too. He said, Because this is illegal. She's a minor. Mine. Mine. Talked about it, Romeo and Juliet lost. Dash oh, 2704 at Dash 3. Nigga had that shit on the back of his hand recited like the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> this was a sick nigga. <laughs> so <laughs> Optimus is running in, and off rip, locked down is letting his nuts hang. This <laughs> man just jumps out of a spaceship, blowing up the building mm. to surf through the fire and rubble. Even just with the fight intro, he trying to one up Prime. But I don't know if going into an aura off with Optimus is something you want to do. Got a better chance seeing Wilt's 100 point game. And we got fucking spaceship footage before that. Optimus has to duck out the way as Lockdown flips into a punch that gets blocked. Listen, on Earth, this is big prime. But on Cybertron, they might have had my goat making corner store runs. Because he gets grabbed like low bro and they take turns blocking each other. We then see Kate's daughter telling B to go back. We gotta go help my father. Fuck you, bitch! Shut the fuck up, bitch! But the pops posted up with a new computer maker. He'll be a eye. Optimus blocks him. Block, but loses his gun and gets kicked in the head. Optimus then hits the Superman punch on lockdown into a knee. Cage just camping, spectating the fight, and that's cool and all. But yeah. why not put all this energy elsewhere? You have no money in our homeless <laughs> still. Isn't Optimus supposed to be one of the best leaders in fiction? How about you inspire this nigga into a job? <laughs> Optimus hits him on the left, gets smacked twice, and gets his arm grabbed into a kick. <laughs> but while goddamn aliens are beefing, humans <laughs> can't stop fighting with each other still. There's I like... knew we were cooked when it was 2020 <laughs> and the teachers were still pressing me over homework. Nigga, we are in the midst of an apocalypse. <laughs> Optimus hits him twice with the shield and a kick jumping over his arm and he peeps k getting pressed by unk over there but we already know what optimus said i have sworn to never kill humans Psych. so what is he really supposed to do yeah yeah he swore that shit like an hour ago and now this man is charging me on the ground yeah but optimus gets snuck going for a right but getting hit with one instead and while on the floor trying to catch his breath lockout kicks his ass and as if that wasn't bad enough lockdown takes his own sword <laughs> and stabs him in the chest with it sticking it through him into the pillar he's leaning on hey i'm just gonna say it use that diamond test on optimus and that shit might say he's a fraud he's getting waxed in these final battles religiously <laughs> Dumbass nigga, your paint job getting messed up. This nigga used crayons on this shit. But they paid millions for Mark Wahlberg to be in this movie, so gotta <laughs> give him his hair bro damn screen time. Yeah. As he runs in while Optimus trips locked down, then Kate hits him in the shoulder. But just in time, Bumblebee rolls up with Tessa and R. Kelly. And B R. Kelly. absolutely no time, transforming into a role and throwing the van at lockdown. Got him looking like he ready to tell us how it's bigger than black and white. While Bumblebee <laughs> runs into a huge double kick. Kate said, oh yeah, we not running once. And he starts blasting while Bumblebee kicks Lockdown and blasts him away. Optimus is watching all this happen, but he's still thumbtacked to the wall. <laughs> hey, Bumblebee, cook up, twin. You my idol. No, nah, this is shameful. Optimus moving like Bruce with Nightwing. Dude, 45, Tom Awesome. I'm trying to be like you, big bro. Bumblebee <laughs> goes for another kick, but gets grabbed, dragged through the ground, and slammed dumb hard. <laughs> and then Lockdown 
Sun sees Kate and he decides he's next. But Kate hmm. and Optimus locked in like this. Oh, if I shoot, shoot, he gonna shoot, shoot, with shoot. Him. If, if I gotta die, die my man died with me. Kate's me. standing <laughs> ten toes, I promise you that. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. But Kate yeah. picks back up the Cybertronian gun and starts blasting back, hitting Lockdown twice. And while Lockdown is for whatever reason got Stormtrooper aimed now, Tessa and the Minecraft YouTubers set up a cord to help free Optimus, using it to trip Lockdown and then Kate shoots him in the face. Lockdown losing all his aura right now, about to transform into the paddy wagon. <laughs> as he tries to get up and gets his legs blasted off trying to stab Cade. And I don't even know why Optimus or Bumblebee even pulls <laughs> up. This nigga Cade is a super soldier. The way he was able to survive through all these attacks being thrown at him. But I knew it really got bad when Lockdown yes, tries to shoot at Cade, but Cade blasts his arm off and then stops his stab. Like, bro, what the hell? Avengers Justice League, somebody signed this nigga. Eventually, though, Tessa and the spawn camp are free Optimus, and he hits this clean spin move to grab his sword. While Cade is getting pressed by Lockdown, he sneaks Lockdown from the back right through the chest. Mm. And just to make sure he don't spin the block 12 times like Megatron, hmm. slice that man in half. It's called GG forever. Yep. All right. That we recap, Blame Boys. That we recap. But yeah, um, that, that fight between Optimus and Sentinel was crazy in Dr. Moon, man. I love that. And Optimus and Lockdown. But yeah, man. Oh, man. That, that, was, that was great. That was really great, man. Really great. Because I had a great time, you know. Watching both movies, even though I'm not a huge fan of Age of Extinction, but I love Doctor Moon. But overall, WWE recap, Blade Boy, keep up the great work with these man. So, Hot Squad, that's my conclusion on my heartbreaking recap reaction to Blade Boy's Transformers, Doctor Moon slash Age of Extinction recap. So, join us, please. Hit like button, read me, like me, comment, share your thoughts. What is your favorite Transformers movie? And have you seen Transformers One? Comment down, let me know how it is, and I won't go see it because I heard it was really good, like the best Transformers movie. I think it is. Also, Hot Squad, I have reached 386 subscribers, and I want to get to 500 this year because I'm going to do more hot bangers as soon as possible. Because hey, look, I would love to do movie reactions, try to get more subs. But hey, look, I love what I do. I love doing these recaps, love doing trailers, and you know, it's most of the time I have. So. If you enjoyed this, enjoyed this to all you new viewers, please, please subscribe to me. I will love your support and appreciation. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have my Heartbanger recap marathon continuing with Uwa Wowo's Family Guy recap. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. <laughs>